What's up and happy mental push up Monday. Today folks, we're gonna talk about relationships and culture are the heartbeats of just about anything that you do. It's hard for me to say everything, but just about anything that you do. So um, as I reflected on this idea, I thought about um, my first year as a basketball coach, head basketball coach, and y'all, I struggled. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I was talking to my sister about this today. And I remember it was so chaotic. I didn't have any structures. I had parents mad at me, all kinds of things, because like, I just didn't know. I thought that my job was just to come in here and talk about basketball. Like, that's it. I don't wanna talk about nothing else with all these other things. Yeah, that wasn't it, y'all. It, it required so much more. So the student, like the student athletes didn't respect me. I wasn't respectful towards them. I mean, it was just all kinds of things. And so when I reflected on it, I realized it came down, it came down to this, that, those two things. Number one, there was no culture. I had not established a mindset for how we operate and structures so that those things could actually come to life. And secondly, um, yeah, I didn't take the time to understand they, who they were. I didn't have relationships. I didn't say like, what do you, what do you care about? I, you know, I was like, hey, I'm trying to get you a scholarship. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, it didn't work. You know, well, what, you, maybe you don't want a scholarship, but what is it that you want? So how can I support you in doing that? How can I challenge you to be great, you know? And so um, when I think about that, I think about my high school coach, Coach Lowry. He mastered that so well. He knew every single one of us. He established a strong culture the minute he walked in that door to say like, hey, this is how we rolling up in here. But I respect you, you know, I'm gonna challenge you to be fantastic, but I'm also gonna support you. You know, you're having a meltdown, I got you. And the relational piece, he really took the time to understand who we were as human beings. Because how he talked to some of us, you know, how he talked to me and how he talked to somebody else, it was very different because he truly understood what buttons, what buttons that he needed to push to help us achieve our best. He couldn't have done that without establishing a relationship with us. He couldn't have, we couldn't have been the team that we were without him establishing a culture of respect, mutuality, and like, and intensity, like it, in a sense of urgency. It couldn't have happened. And so um, I say all that to say, that um, a lot of things, you know, um, I see sometimes with coaching, like we focus so much on the content. We're like, oh, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna coach you around this math content. Fantastic, that's great. And let's consider who it is that we're working with. Let's consider, you know, what is the relationship that I need to build with this person? Like, what is the culture like even in the classroom? Like, yeah, you're gonna teach your content. You're gonna get to that and how do I take the time to understand who you are as a, as a human being? Like, how do, how do I do that? So have a great week, folks. And as always, be bold, be brave, and most importantly, friends, be you. And I'm out.